And guess what? It's free of charge to visit. I'd pay $3.90 for the same cup of espresso, which is crazy. And it's very tasty. And I only paid $6.50 for it. If you're a budget travel, if you want to save money, if you want to spend a day here visiting the museums and landmarks for free, here you go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Rome. We are finally here. I'm so excited to finally be in this wonderful city. I love it so much. I've been here numerous times before and I'm so excited to share this city with you. Finally, uh, yeah, just so, so excited guys. You can obviously say that I'm in Rome and today I have another budget travel video for you. As per tradition, I have only 20 euros to spend for the entire day in the Italian capital, visiting museums, eating, having coffee and just enjoying the city, enjoying the views and so, so much more. So let's see if I can manage it today. And since you know it's 2023, so the prices have risen a lot. And let's see if I manage to spend a day here with only 20 euros. Let's see what can I see uh, today here. Obviously, Rome is just an open air museum and you can see so many monuments all around the city, just walking like the Trevi Fountain or the Spanish stairs. And you know, it's not a big deal. You can obviously see them all for free. However, I want to show you more, I want to show you all the different places where you can enter uh, for free or for you know a reduced uh, ticket price or something like that and i want to show you where to eat on a budget because rome can get pretty expensive in that department and yeah you know guys so many people tell me that uh why do you go somewhere with only 20 euros why do you go somewhere if you don't have enough money well i want to show you how to save money then obviously it's up to you how much you want to spend so enough talking guys let's go let's see this wonderful city and yeah Let's try to save some money here. What I particularly love about Rome is how easy the artworks are found everywhere here. And I'm actually taking you to this church that is called San Luigi dei Francesi, St. Louis of the French, that was originally built for the French community. And still to this day, you can find numerous uh, writings in uh, French, numerous signs in French, so yeah. By the way, to all my uh, French language followers and subscribers, I'm thinking about you today. And here in this church, guys, you can find three art pieces by Caravaggio. Just like that, entering this church absolutely for free. How amazing is that? How can you not love this city and how can you not love this country when this country, the cradle of art itself, makes art so easily available to everybody and that's spectacular. One place, guys, one more place that you have to visit that you cannot forgo when in Rome, especially for the first time, is obviously the Pantheon. Pantheon was originally built by the Romans as the temple of all divinities. And then when it was transformed into a church, it became, coincidence or not, it became the church of all marchers, the uh, church of St. Mary and the marchers. So yeah, I think it's a very interesting story, you know, how the Roman sacred place was transformed into a Christian sacred place. I've always loved this connection between the Roman paganism and Christianity here in Rome. Anyway, guys, when visiting the Pantheon, obviously something that strikes you immediately as you enter is the opening, the so-called oculus in the dome. And it is said that the Romans built it in such a way 
that during the summer solstice at midday, the sun arrives directly, the beam of light arrives directly through this oculus and it illuminates the entrance. In answering the question whether it rains inside the Pantheon, yes, it does. However, due to the convex floor, all of the water is directed towards the drains. Anyway, Pantheon is an incredible place that has so many legends linked to it, but also quite real stories. The two kings of Italy are buried inside, and Raphael, the artist himself, chose this place as his burial place. And well, let all agree that it's not the worst place to be buried at. And speaking of the Pantheon itself as the structure, the construction, it's a very peculiar architectural uh, site because it's a perfect sphere. Just imagine how good the Romans were at architecture and projecting things because they managed to create this perfect sphere building. One of the legends linked to this place also says that it was built upon the place where Romulus, the founder of Rome, ascended to the sky and then returned back in this special magical rite. Who knows, guys, who knows? But I feel like this is one of the most peculiar places. And even, you know, energetically, it's so special. You absolutely have to visit it. And also, yeah, it's for free, so you know where to go. Guys, if you're a fellow digital nomad, just like myself, you probably know what a pain is it to find a good place to get your work done in big cities wherever you're traveling, you know, and in a city like Rome, because the cafes, the coffee shops might be too noisy and do not have adequate facilities, and then all the co-working spaces are located outside the city center, but luckily, it's not an issue in Rome. And I'm going to show you a wonderful place where you can get your work done, and that is located just a few minutes walk from Piazza Navona and Pantheon, right in the city center, and that's why I love it so much. Let's go with me. We're going to Office 21, guys, and it's a wonderful, wonderful place where you can not only work, but also find uh, your home in Rome. Office 21 is a co-working space inside a real estate agency, which means that you can find even short-term lots there, or you can buy your home in Rome, or you can rent a place in Rome, you can do whatever you want, and the international team that speaks around seven languages will help you out. This is the point of reference for experts, guys, and I love it for this, because you can go there, you can meet fellow experts, fellow digital nomads, you can work remotely, you can find a place, and if you've been here for a while, you know how often I talk about how difficult it is to find a place in Italy. With power points to recharge your equipment and high-speed internet and projection screen for your presentations and even concierge service to receive your mail, guys, you will have a peace of mind so you can focus on work. And when it's time for lunch or a coffee break, a well-equipped kitchen will provide you with everything necessary so you stay fueled while working on your projects. I will leave you a link to their website in the description. And guys, it's so, so easy to book your workplace. Check out their website and choose whether you want to stay for a day or a few days or a week or a month. No matter how long you're staying, you can find and book your perfect workplace in just a few easy steps. And this is something that is very important when you're moving to a new country and you're already stressed out and you don't have to stress about finding a place to work. So if you're already in Rome or you are coming to Rome, think no more. You know where to go. You know where to look for your perfect workplace. And I'm sure, guys, that you love it because the team of Office 21 will make everything to make you feel right at home. Time for a coffee break, guys, and I'm going to take you to a very peculiar place right in the heart of Rome, around the corner from the Pantheon, and it's called Sant'Eustachio Cafe. And actually, it's considered one of the oldest, oldish coffee shops in Rome because it was founded in 1938. And if you want to know more about the old coffee shops, the antique coffee shops in Rome, I actually have a post about it on my Patreon. So once again, I remind you to check it out and subscribe, check the link in the description if you want to learn more about it. Anyway, this place is uh, very interesting because 
actually give you a tip on how to save money anywhere in Italy, but in Rome in particular. If you take your coffee al banco, which means standing at the bar, you will save some money. And if you want to sit at the table and be served by a waiter, you're gonna pay more. Here's the deal. Uh, we got some coffee al banco, I just got a normal espresso and I paid 150 for my espresso. Whereas, had I sat at the table, I'd pay 390 for the same cup of espresso, which is crazy, but that's the reality of life. And actually, not only in Rome, you can see it in many, many other cities in Italy. When you see it, you pay more. You know, that's how it works. Uh, anyway, the coffee here was actually very, very good. And I loved that I paid only 150 for my coffee, for a good cup of coffee, and the stuff was nice. And yeah, although it can be quite chaotic, but Rome is chaotic, so you just accept the thing. Uh, I will also leave you a link in the description box to find this place and all of the other places I visit. But keep in mind that here you can have coffee for only 150 and save some money while on your budget trip to Rome. Guys, when you are in Rome, you clearly cannot miss this place. We're in Vatican, in, wow, you know, another, another country, inside another country. That's mind-blowing. Anyway, you obviously have to visit uh, the San Pietro Basilica because it's free of charge. You do not have to pay anything for your entry. The only downside of this place is that you have to you for such a long time but if you are luckier than me and if you're traveling to Rome for more than one day and you're not filming a video here you can definitely do it I'm not going there inside today because uh, we simply do not have enough time before our train back to Bologna but just so you know it's free of charge at the staple for every uh, visit to Rome obviously and it's spectacularly beautiful even just being here in the piazza you know and admiring this beauty is incredible. I've been there before and I can absolutely tell you that it's worth a visit. Yeah, you know guys, it's something you have to visit at least once in your life. Also, the museums of the Vatican are uh, for a fee you have to pay for your tickets, but the charge is free and yeah, you can just visit it like this. It's lunchtime, guys, and I'm showing you a place where you can have lunch and save money, which is a virtually impossible task in Rome because the center of the city is full of um, fancy restaurants, but also not the fancy restaurants that will charge you a lot just because it's the historical center of Rome. And obviously you can have uh, something like a sandwich, panino, or a piece of pizza, and it will not cost you that much. However, we're in Italy, and I decided that eating something super traditional, like pasta, would be more appropriate. And for this pasta, guys, for one portion of it, I paid only 650, which is perfect, and it perfectly aligns with my budget for today. And I got this pasta to go. And yeah, it might not be super convenient, obviously, if you want to see it and uh, have a seat at the restaurant, then you're gonna pay more. But if you want to save money for your budget traveler, like myself today, then this could be your option. We got uh, one portion of carbonara and another portion of pasta with truffles. And yes, we paid 650 for, the for another one as well. However, I'm counting only one for today since I'm talking about the budget travel, you know, and budget for one person. And then you obviously just double everything in case there are more people. And so here is my carbonara. Let me just stir it for a second. Oof smells so good. Now, come have a look. Looks really good. And also, I really like how 
comfortable the package is because this dish is really, really comfortable to hold and they give you the forks. Oh, and they give you cheese, but you have to ask for the cheese. I will obviously leave you the link on Google Maps for all the places I visit today, including this one. And I recommend you to come here early because it gets quite busy around lunchtime. And then you can ask for extra cheese when you get your order, something that I did. So yeah, let's add all the cheese because I love the cheese. So we're ready, let's try it. I'm quite excited, honestly. I haven't eaten a carbonara, a good carbonara in such a long time. Mmm, it's very good. It's super al dente, but like the right type of al dente. And it's very tasty. And I only paid $6.50 for it. So, I mean, guys, isn't it a perfect lunch for a budget traveler? You get to eat the traditional dish. It's tasty. It doesn't cost you much. And yeah, well, you, you might not be able to see it, but you know, I can do it like this. Also, oh, let's try the second one. I'm sorry, it's not my portion, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So yeah, the tough luck of being my cameraman. Um, let's try this one, which is a strozza preti with truffles. And it smells divinely. Mm, and I mean, guys, pasta with truffles for 650 is crazy. Mmm, mmm, it's so good. I might actually like this one a bit more. So yeah, we just have to wrap this up because otherwise I'm gonna eat this one instead. So good, guys. Check the link in the description for this place. It's probably my best tip for you today. Another perk of this pasta place, guys, is that it's right around the corner from the Vatican. So it's super, super central. And you probably know that I love sustainable travel, not only budget travel. And I always carry my uh, refillable water bottle with me. What's going on? What's happening? Anyway, uh, as I said, I'm carrying my refillable water bottle uh, with me all the time. And luckily in Rome, there are water fountains on every step. I love it so much that you never have to look for a water fountain. So yeah, you know, guys, you can also save money on that. No, it might take some time. Rome is definitely known as the cradle of the Christian relics and also the cradle of art, obviously. And luckily, you can see numerous artworks as well as numerous Christian relics based on what you are interested in around numerous Roman churches. And good news, most of them are actually free to visit. So today I want to take you to one very peculiar church that is quite well known, but you know, it also is not the most famous one of Rome. And as you can guess, it's free of charge and it has two very interesting things inside. So let's go with me. San Pietro in Vincoli is a monumental Catholic church located right in the city center. And inside you can find 
the masterpiece by Michelangelo himself, and it is called Moses. Basically, it's a statue of Moses that Michelangelo created, and it's considered one of his uh, masterpieces. And today, after having uh, undergone some works of the restoration, it can be seen here and it can be admired as the artist wanted it because it is positioned in a very peculiar way that the light illuminates it, and you can. Ah, actually, yeah, enjoy this masterpiece in its glory and in its beauty because it's absolutely breathtakingly spectacular. Besides this, well, the church is really beautiful itself as well, but besides the artwork by Michelangelo, you can actually find a very important Christian relic that the wife of the Emperor Valentinius III brought here. And this is the chains that St. Peter was chained up with and they are located right beneath the altar. You can see them, you can come close to them. And yeah, if, uh, if you're interested in it, guys, you know where to look for it. Because as I said, Rome is obviously the heart of uh, the Catholic world, but also the heart of modern Christianity. And there are so many important relics conserved here. And guys, if you want to learn more about the Roman churches, where you can find incredible masterpieces, most of them free of charge to enter, make sure to check out the link in the description box and subscribe, because I have lots of useful and interesting information there, including the best uh, churches in Rome, the best uh, budget cafes in Rome, and many, many more. So don't waste any more time and check it out. Next up, guys, it's time for dessert, and I got this tiramisu. That is my favorite place for tiramisu, and my favorite tiramisu in Rome. And you probably know that tiramisu was not invented here, and if you don't know, I will leave you a link up here to a video where I talk about the story, the history of tiramisu. However, forgive me for this, guys, but one of the best tiramisus I've ever tried here in Rome and it's this one and I will leave you always the link for this place but um, I've decided to go for a big one and I took this big tiramisu for 350 which is a really good price although once again as with pasta you have to take it away but it's not a big deal you know the weather is wonderful today and the street is so cute and it's perfect to eat tiramisu on the go so let's try it mm. guys it's divine. It's just as I remember it. The last time I ate tiramisu here, the last time I was in Rome, was even before COVID. It was, it was 2019. So yeah, December 2019, basically. <laughs> a month or two before COVID hit. So, you know, I missed it. I missed it so much. And it's so, so good. You have to try it once you are here. Mm. Guys, tell me, where else in the world can you stumble upon Roman ruins, uh, you know, just walking around and enjoying a stroll in the city? Well, obviously, I'm not here by chance. I came here deliberately because these ruins are the so-called Curia di Pompeo, the place where Caesar was assassinated. Just imagine the historical importance of this place. It's incredible. I have literal goosebumps just looking here. And it's another place that you can see and visit for free. Although, as I said at the beginning of this video, obviously you can see many other monuments around Rome, like the Trevi Fountain, for example, that are free, obviously, to see, to visit. But not everybody knows about this place, and I wanted to show it to you, because not only you can enjoy the view over here for free, but also it's so important and so interesting. By the way, another interesting fact. Did you actually know that the famous words that were supposedly said by Caesar when he was murdered are debated by the historians whether he actually said that because there was a Roman uh, writer who, the Roman philosopher, who uh, said that Caesar pronounced this phrase, the famous phrase. However, then he actually said himself that it was not exactly true that 
He might not have said these words, so nobody knows, obviously. And you know, sadly, we don't know exactly what happened and what he said and what he felt. I mean, it's such an important historical figure and it's such an important historical moment. And you know, sometimes I just wish we had a time travel machine so I could travel back in time and watch all these important historical moments by myself. But you know, at least we have Rome and we have the Roman remains where we can imagine everything happening and enjoy the view and literally touch the history, the ancient history. Guys, let me know, what can I tell you? Behind my back, guys, it's not the Colosseum, it's the Teatro Marcello. And guess what? It's free of charge to visit. I mean, obviously there is no alternative to Colosseum because it's uh, famous in the whole world and it's one of the most important landmarks here in Rome. But if you're a budget travel, if you want to save money, if you want to spend a day here visiting the museums and landmarks for free, here you go. Look how beautiful this place is. Uh, there are the Roman remains, there is the theater, and I mean, guys, it's all free of charge. I love Rome for this. There are so many important historical monuments that are free to visit. This is absolutely incredible. As I said before, Italy just gives you each and every opportunity to enjoy art and to educate yourself and to learn more about art and history, and you absolutely have to use these opportunities. The foundation of this theater was laid by Caesar himself and then the construction works were completed under Augustus, the Emperor Augustus, and you know, it's just so mind-blowing to be able to walk these streets, to be able to walk uh, among these walls that were once uh, wanted and constructed under so important uh, historical figures. It's so, so impressive. Now guys, before people start coming at me for promoting budget uh, and affordable travel, I'm taking you to a place where you can enjoy the view of the Roman forums for free without queuing for the tickets. And you know, I think it's a good alternative. First, if you've already been to Rome and seen everything and you want to save money while also enjoying a different perspective, a different point of view, quite literally. And secondly, uh, if you are a budget traveler, if you are a young student, say, who came to Rome and do not want to spend too much money, or you know, whoever, and you don't want to spend too much money, here's my tip for you. And I'm taking you to my, one of my favorite secret places in Rome. Guys, look at this view. I strongly believe that this is probably one of the most beautiful views, if not the most beautiful views of Rome in the entire city. I mean, you can see everything and it's right in front of you. And it's free, obviously. And the climb up here is actually super quick and easy. So even if you are not well trained, you can absolutely do it. And, you know, just look what you get. Guys, uh, how gorgeous is it? And that's it for today, guys. I think it's a perfect place to say goodbye. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And you know now how to save money in Rome. You now know that you can enjoy the views, uh, beautiful artworks, beautiful places, good food, everything 
and you do not have to spend too much money and that's what I'm trying to promote with these videos and also with my channel in general that you can travel sustainably and affordably that you do not need to spend tons of money on travel it is actually quite accessible if you know where to look for the places and food and everything and that's why I'm so passionate to share my tips and to share my experience with you today I spent a total of 15 euros on food and entertainment and transport and I have five more euros left and actually a very curious thing it only happened to me once in Milan previously and if you haven't seen that video of mine I will leave you a link up here when uh, I filmed a budget travel video for Milan and I spent less than 20 euros in another city that is known to be expensive just as Rome so you see some myths are actually just that they're myth if you know where to look you do not have to spend so much money so I have five more euros. I don't know, I probably get some aperitivo today or uh, I can spend them on a panino in the evening for my dinner. So I think it's quite good, you know. I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy with the result of today. And yeah, guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button down below so you don't miss anything new. And as always, please like, comment and share this video with your friends if you want to see more videos like this. Also, guys, if you want to support my channel, hit the thanks button down below. Don't forget about it. I highly appreciate your help and your support. And travel more, visit Rome, know that you can do it on a budget. Thank you so much for being here and enjoy your day.